Hi there, and welcome to the Help Crunch YouTube channel. My name is Les, and today we will talk about how to create a knowledge base using Help Crunch. Suppose you've decided to provide self-service for your customers and unify knowledge collection at your company. Just watch this short video and you're halfway there. So, what's a knowledge base? It's a structured resource hub where you can keep helpful information about your product, service, or any other material for your staff and customers and manage it the way you want to. A knowledge base can be of two types. Internal, with onboarding materials, training documents, and others. Or external, with FAQs, walkthroughs, how-tos, and so on. One way or another, it can help both you and your clients save their time while looking for burning questions and handling issues. Now that we've covered the basics, time to build a knowledge base using a super easy and rich help crunch editor. Let's go! So, come up with your knowledge base structure first. Decide on the main categories and their subsections to organize all of the information effectively, and then proceed to, to article topics. By the way, your customer chats, customer reviews, Quora, or Reddit can be the perfect sources for that. To illustrate, I've already shaped an online store knowledge base on a mirror whiteboard beforehand. It contains such information as the store's delivery process, payment options, return and refunds, and account settings. You can use the same tool and ease your life a hundredfold, or just write everything on a simple piece of paper. It's your call. Well, the structure is set, let's actually create a knowledge base. Log into your Help Crunch account. Find the Knowledge Base, base section on the left sideboard. Once you click Turn on Knowledge Base, there is already an example category section and even an article here. But let's see how to create a knowledge base from scratch. Click Add New and choose the element you want to go for. We'll start with a category right now. Write a category name. In our case, it will be Return and uh, Refund Policies. You can add a category description and uh, change the slug if you want to. It's a short string of text you see in URL that identifies a particular page on a website in a more skimmable form. Don't forget about SEO settings. They are important because uh, your customer's search queries often look like their question, plus your brand. That's why your articles should be neatly indexed by Google and optimized for keywords. So, write the page title. Then you can also specify meta description, add some meta keywords, social title, description, and social image. Once you're done here, click Add Category. And it appears right here on the left dashboard. To make your knowledge base even more digestible and intuitive, you can also add uh, sections to it. So, time to modify your first article. Enter your category, click Add New Article. Let's write uh, the article title. and provide uh, the article description. Make it 100 characters max so that it is shown in a well neat way. Let's save the article and see how the, the description will look like once uh, the article goes live. It looks like here, like this. So let's get back and proceed with the article settings. We already have article title, article description, uh, slug, you can change it or keep it. Change uh, and choose the article location and uh, the author. By the way, be aware of the SEO settings for certain articles. They can be much more important than that for categories and sections. So let's insert page title. Then uh, you can also add meta description, uh, meta keywords. So let's specify some 
You can also create a social title, description, and add social image. Once you're finished, click Apply. So the most interesting part is coming, it's of course, writing your first article. Thanks to our WYSIWYG text editor, you can play with your piece as you wish. Double click on the text to activate the editor panel. Here you can uh, choose fonts, add headings, insert links, quotes, bookmarks, etc. So let's create a numbered list here. Well, it looks like this. You can also highlight pieces of information here. I will now highlight these two messages and make them a note. And uh, these three will be a tip. By the way, who likes a plain wall of text? To jazz things up a little, add some visuals to your knowledge base. I will now add a GIF to it. like this. By the way, when you copy your text, its formatting remains the same. Let's say you like writing it in Google Docs. Transferring your text to the Help French Knowledge Base will be enough us. Now you can save the whole article or just uh, its URL to share with your colleagues or customers. Let's save it. Uh, you can make it a draft or make, uh, make it public at once. Besides, you can easily customize your knowledge base. Go to your knowledge base settings, appearance, and here you can add a header image, change its logo, choose a knowledge base color and favicon. So let's see how the header image looks like. The whole picture looks like this. Let's change the knowledge base color. So it looks like this. You can also add a custom link to it, or uh, you can uh, create a knowledge base on a subdomain. So let's get back to our article. And we'll see how this one looks like. So we've built just one article and one category today. You can um, add uh, a whole new bunch of articles and categories to your new Help Crunch knowledge base. And let's see how the uh, full fledged Help Crunch knowledge base looks like. Maybe yours will look the same. Voila! We've just created a knowledge base from the ground up. Hopefully, you enjoyed this granular step-by-step -step guide and will use our tips when building your own information hierarchy with Help Branch. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos!